Okay there guys, I've got a package from Australia. Um, it's one of um, my long time subscriber viewers. Oh, Chris Butters, he's got a channel, I'll, I'll link that in the description. So he sent me some broken graf graphics cards. I think one actual um, decent one, a couple of, he said the other ones are for parts. So I'll open this up. So here we go, got some packaging. Just Okay, what's this? It's a one gig card, I'm not too sure what it is, what's on the back. I think it might have like DDR4 RAM or something like that. AX6450. Don't know what it is, I'll have to look that up. I'll get back to you on those ones. This one here is a. Uh, 45. Not even too sure what that is. Looks quite similar to the other one. That's cool. Could could be useful for some form of parts, maybe even like like the voltage regulators or something like that. MOSFETs. I don't know. Aha! This is the one, the main one. The old gigabyte. This is the, an RX 460, so I've never done one of those before. Gigabyte. And it actually looks really good, Nick. So, let's take the fan off and we'll do some resistance checks. To see if it's actually shorted anywhere or whatnot. Never worked on a RX 460 before, so... But, yeah, you know, shouldn't be too much different to the RX 470s or 580s or whatnot. But yeah, okay, so got the, the sheet here, we'll fill it in. So there's a uh, it's a two gig. Oh we'll check that later. Uh, I don't know, hashtag say twenty. I don't know what we're up to. Right, let's get this apart. Got my iFixit kit here. Really good quality screwdrivers I've, I've found. Always just slightly loosen them just to release, release the tension and then go through them, take them off. Okay, well that came off quite easily. Oh wow, it's tiny. Look how clean it is. I don't think it's been used much at all. Okay, well it's got this K Hynix memory on it. It looks like DDR5 RAM. That's a tiny little... Oh, but look at this. Look how... I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but... Around the perimeter it looks really hot. Around here. It's like, it's like a... Blue mark around it. So maybe it's just... Could just be a GPU. But we'll check. Little ohms. Okay, let's do, there's no external connector, so it's all coming off the PCIe power, so, the 12 volt, okay, just checking my probes, I don't know if there's anything on, there's no, nothing on the 12 volt, that's weird. 
Ah, probably blown fuse. Two, three, four. So we've got, yeah, that's pretty healthy. So we'll say 2.9K on the 3.3 volt. So 3.3, 2.9K. Okay, what have we got here? Five volt regulator, where will that be? Just gonna have to have a look. I'm assuming we've got two five volt regulators. One here and one here. Ground. So it's two K, and we got two point six ohms. That doesn't sound right. We got here three point three ohms, three point seven K. I'm not too sure. They could just be MOSFETs too, eh? I'll have to check the part numbers of those. Is in focus? It's not focusing, is it? Ah, oh, it's probably focusing on that. Focus, you fuck. Alright, so we've got a bunch of MOSFETs here. This will be the V core. Maybe some for the memory. I wish you put this under the microscope, shouldn't I, to see. That's probably a memory up here. Or your VDDCI. Alright, let's just go poke around the coils. So, what's here we got? That's weird. Okay, 3.6, 3.5, 3.4 ohms. It's probably be cool. 2.6, 2.8. So that seems pretty normal for a V cool. I'm not sure about these ones. So we've got 44 ohms. That's probably your memory. So the top one here is probably memory, and these one, two, three, four, a V core. So what's this coil over here doing? It's 58 ohms, so that could be VDDCI. The other side. Another coil over here. What's this one? 43 ohms. So that seems like that's connected to the coils there. Hmm, weird. Yeah, I'm unfamiliar with this board layout, but... So what I think we have is a... This is, looks like a... Yeah, it's open line on this um, fuse here. What about the other side of the fuse? What have we got? Yeah, we've got 2.5 ohm short on the 12 volt PCIe. So that is, there's a problem. That's why this car's not working. Just, yeah, so 2.1 ohms. And let's look at that. And what have we got on here? Come on. Let's check it here. Similar on the vehicle. Okay, so I just jumped onto the microscope and for those two regulators at the back, they are the same. So there's one here and one here. And they're both 5 volt regulators. So they are UTC 78Ds and the 05 is the um, 5 volts. 
and the other one's just a muddle coat. So pin one is input, pin two is ground, and pin three is out. So if you can, I'm not sure if you guys can see it here. That's um, pin one, two, and three. And this at the back is pin two, and that would be ground. So back on ohms, so we can know what we're doing here. So pin is, one is input. So ground's there. Okay, that's low. So it's, there you go. So pin one is connected directly to ground, so we know that's good. So we've got here we go. So the input is 2.6543 ohms, and the third one's the output, and that's in the kilo ohms. So Judging by that, it's, this is not faulty, but something connected in the circuit before this is shorting. Let's check the other one. Pin one, same deal. So something on the 12 volt is shorted. And that's 2.4. And the output, what's the output? And we're in a kilo ohm range, so yeah. So I don't think these are faulty. They could be, but I don't think they are. So let's go back to the next ground there. What's this? Could just be a filter. 50 ohms. That's probably the memory, I'm assuming, or memory controller. Now we know 12 volts is the same, sh so the 12 volt PCIe is the same short as the input on the 5 volt. So something on before 5 volt, and we're going to say 2.3 ohms on 12 volt bus. Ohms. Okay, no 12 volt external, the 5 volt regulator, we'll just say 3 kilo ohms. 1.8 that is normally around here I'm not sure in this car but yeah I think it's let's just see this ground no okay let's go here let's try these capacitors here open line Over here, take it to ground. It's on this side 43. That's not, and it's here. Inside. Yeah, that looks like 3.8, 3.3 3 volt bus is 2.5k. Oh, the 1.8 is 3.3k. So display picks it's normally around here. I don't know where it is on this card. So it's normally got a coil somewhere. Like I said earlier, I'm not familiar with this card. So that. Maybe it's that controller there. Yeah, that looks like that looks like a PIX chip. One of those GC ones. So it could be here. So we've got a good ground. Yep. Display. Yeah, we're at 50 ohms. 49.6 on PIX, I'm assuming. I'm sorry. Just put a question mark. So VDDCI is probably here. Fifty 
67 ohms. And VMEM, I'm assuming it's up here. Come on. Four point two and I'm assuming yeah these are definitely gonna be V core here. These four coils. I would say two point six ohms. So now because this card hasn't got an external 12 volt, everything's got to come through this 12 volt and 3.3 volt, and all the um, power for the, the higher amp draw things will be on the VDDCI. It'll be this will be controlling this, so this is probably controlling the VMEM at the top here, and the four um, stages of the um, V core. So I'm thinking. It's probably likely, if it's direct on 12 volt, it'll be one of these here that's causing an issue. So, what I need to do is investigate here somewhere. We've got high side and low side MOSFETs here. And these, are the little, these are the MOSFET drivers, I think, I'm pretty sure. So it's not shorted after the 5 volt regulators and whatnot. So I'm going to have a think about this and I'll bring you guys back what I, what I think, where I should be looking. Maybe we need to inject voltage, see what gets warm. Okay. So I'll turn the multimeter on. So what we've got here, as you saw in that previous clip, I just fast forwarded um, me soldering uh, a thick wire to the um, 12 volt um, side of the um, fuse here. That this is the one actually is connected to the board, not the blown side. So I've got my little trusty little um, toolkit RC M8S. Um, charger here but you can do output so the lowest it goes is one volt which is fine because the GPU can handle one one volt no worries uh, I set for two amps so she's on now and it's drawing two amps and we're at 0 0.9 volts so I've got the multimeter on here so I'm gonna test so we get 0 0.756 volts coming in which is good we don't you don't want too much because it could so what we wanted to test is um, see if the GPU is getting warm. Feels like a little bit warm. So these one, two, three, four, I'm not sure if you can see it properly. I might turn the light down a bit. There's four coils here. They are the V core. So testing there, it's getting 0 0.711 volts through. So one of these um, MOSFETs is actually passing obviously faulty and it's passing the voltage straight to the vehicle and hence why this 12 volt thing just tw uh, <coughs> the 12 volt fuse blue let's check the memory see if there's any voltage coming to memory zero that's good nothing in the memory and let's check the VDDCI nothing there so what's happened is 12 volts has probably gone to the GPU and that's why it's so hot around there but yeah that's more than likely this is dead but there's, there's a slight chance it could be okay so what i'm going to do is go under the microscope i'm going to test um check with the multimeter each one of these um mosfets and see if we can find the faulty one okay, let's check these mosfets so we've got one probe on ground and i'm going to test so here we go It's probably the ground playing there. That's pretty much. Let's go here. So maybe that's ground. That one's the output. I have to check the data sheet. 
Okay, so we got 18k, the chicken lead drain, and the other drain. Here, 18k, there's the drain. Here, I think, 18k, 18, 19k, it's fine. Last one's memory, we don't have to worry about that. Let's check here. We got to the wrong side. Here. Nope. Ooh, that, that is a gate. That's 2.1 ohms. So that gate, let's check here. And get my probes in here. Gate. And source. Ah, oh, this is dead short. So I think it's this one here. Okay, let's check the rest of them. It's the gate. Yeah. 6.8, uh, 7.8k. That's good. 6.8k. Ah, I think we found it. This one here. Okay, let's desolder that. Get the soldering iron on. Lots of meter out of the way. That's gone, that's still hot, it's got some flux on it. Turn the light down. We need more flux. A bit cold today. Okay, let's give it a quick clean. Okay, let's test for short now. Out of the way. Can you see that? All right, let's test the fuse again. Why well, you look at that? Short's gone, but twelve volts has gone straight into the um, GPU die chip, whatever you want to call it, into the GPU. So there's a high probability that this has died. And remember at the start I said, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me see. This, oh, you can't really see it, but I can see it. And there's like a real, like a burn heat mark around the GPU and um, yeah so I'm not holding great yeah I don't think it's it's high chance is going to work but we can replace that MOSFET here I'm not sure if I have one I'll have a look at my stock uh, what is it it is let me write this down K zero three B seven four L two sixty three Y. Okay, let me bring it back. Let's see if I can find one of these. Okay, so I couldn't find the Zach one, but I 
found a, a 60 amp version where that one's a 30 amp version it should be the same pin out by the looks of it just by judging by the data sheet so let's whack it on maybe we'll order some online and replace it down the track if, if we can get it working still still not 100% sure it's going to work because of that 12 volts of GPU let's just try it though Touch it up with a soldering iron. Maybe a little bit more heat on the back. Quick clean up. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's test for shorts again. I'm sure we'll check on the main one. Yeah, it's good. So, gate to source. Yep. Sweet. 8K. Perfect. Alright, I need to replace this fuse down here and then I'll bring you guys back when I've tested on the PCIe expansion car. Yeah, whatever, I'll show you. <laughs> okay, so I've got the power supply here plugged into a PCIe riser. There's no metal here. Okay, so we're going to test the voltages. I'll get my multimeter. Power supply set at 12.1 volts at 2 amp limit. So we don't, you know, we don't want to put too much in it. There is a short. I put the um, I put a zero ohm resistor on where the fuse is. Probably a bit lower value, which is probably good if there is a sh another short. So um, yeah, let's let's turn it on. Okay, drawing 0.4 amps, which is good. We'll get the multimeter in focus for you. Put in DC voltage. Let's see. Okay. So you can see all that. Okay, let's check this 12 volts. Yes, we have 12 volts. Let's check the B core. Yes. 0.9 volts on V core. This one over here. That's probably memory 1.3 volts, I'm assuming. So maybe this is VDDCI here. Yep. VDDCI is there. So I was wrong. That's fine. And I have to flip the board over. Okay. I'm assuming this is. 1.8 here. Nothing here. It's got to be 1.8 if we've got V core. It's over here. Ah, did I do something wrong? 
Ah, it's got a bit loose. Hang on, let's try it again. Where's what? We don't really need 1.8, but. Okay, let's V core. It's over here. Yep, there we go. So we got um, display. This should be output. 5 volts. Where's the other one? Okay. 4 volts in. 5 volts out. So I'm pretty sure if this was going to work, it will work. So let's get the heat sink back on it, it was really easy, and I'll plug it into my test rig. Okay, it's weird not having an um, external PCIe connector, but let's, um, hang on, let's just unplug. Plug on, the, turn the screen on. Okay, let's power it on and see what happens. Oh, and it did not work. I think it's... Well, the fans aren't spinning. Okay. Something's going on here. What? Yeah, it's spinning. Ah, I haven't got the video plugged in. <laughs> uh, that's what's going on. Let's turn it off and on again. With the screen plugged in this time, let's see that. These HP boards are a bit weird, detecting. Okay. The fans are spinning now. Let's get into the BIOS. Ah, oh, yep. Looks like it's detected. Yep, it's there. Okay. Just going to change that one as the primary boot. So F5, 10, escape, save changes. Yep. Then I'll turn it off and plug the screen into it. Plug in a DVI connector in. Ah, that's our display port connector. Power on. It's weird the fans don't spin at startup. Hey! <laughs> it's posting. What? Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, I heard a crackle sound. That means something's blown. Wow. So it worked for a bit. Maybe I need to get the right MOSFET for that. Maybe it's, maybe the GPU is dead. Seems to be working right. Um, Anyway, I'm going to have to leave it here and order the parts for it and I will bring you back on the part two. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Catch ya. Bye.